All right, this episode is sponsored by Rougiette. We were out here. This is probably one of the last times you guys are gonna see this place. This was my original track I had purchased years ago. I think I told you guys maybe about a year and a half ago, I don't know, when, when I had bought, purchased the other chunk of land that I was trying to get more into investing in land. Cause I think in land's a better investment than anything. So I pieced it all up and I've sold it all off. This last piece, the one where we built the lake on, this is the last uh, chunk to sell and we have sold it. So this will probably be the last time I'll, I'll actually be able to fish it and you guys will see it. I'm gonna hammer down hopefully on what's inside of here. I wanna see how big these things have gotten, which I mean, I'm gonna show you guys. I know how big some of them are. But I've done a pretty good job, honestly, on fish management over the last, I think it's taken about, two, about a year and a half, year, eight months, whatever it is, since I put all these fish in here. And these F1s, they're doing pretty good. I think I've done a good job on the amount of bait we put in here and bass, I think the, the, the ratio is really good. Hopefully we can catch some of the big fish in here today so you guys can actually see them. I don't know. We got Hirsch has been having some issues as well. Her eyes like filled with blood. It's blue. I might, I might have to give her her medicine. I was supposed to give it 20 minutes ago, but I've been driving. She had uh, platelet levels were apparently down. She had hemorrhaging behind her eye randomly for no reason. She started hemorrhaging blood behind her eye. So now she's the world's most expensive four pound dog. ER for animals, same price as ER for adults. Gonna throw that one out there. Looks beautiful. It's kind of crazy. I think we've got 35 or 40 cows now. So my bull's been out here just going to pound town doing his thing. I'm not going to get rid of the bull. I'm going to keep him and a couple of them just because he's so fertile. And then uh, I am I am going to buy more land though. Only when I can get it at a good price and piece it up and hopefully build another lake. I've actually been looking at buying some land in Texas here recently. The land in Texas, they're real proud of it. I'm just going to say that. A little, little too proud. Oh yeah, dude, the waters came up. Good. Now this thing has a creek in it. There's a creek that feeds in this lake. I've never been here when it's been at full pole, ever. Like last year, I didn't come here at all because I was like, I'm not gonna fish it, so what's the point of coming here? Really hope I don't regret selling this place. Four years from now, like, God dang it, I shouldn't have sold that piece of land. This boat ramp actually works really well. This is not my first time putting this boat in this, this lake, by the way. We came and filmed a Guggen video out here two weeks ago and we were legitimately, you know, I think, do I have that clip on my phone? Let me look. Look at them, they were schooled up. The craziest, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, look how many there are. <laughs> I see this. Eight, nine bass trying to eat this thing. It was so crazy how it's good for them. Actually, I don't know what's going on, on my phone. Doesn't matter. There was like eight or nine fish that were literally trying to eat the same top water. Rackley catches two. And then I flip back there and then catch another one. Like this place, I'm very, very happy with it. All right, let's go get your medicine. Water's so clean. I came up here with with Avery and Cammie and Fish to made a uh, uncut video and the water was real stained because it had just rained like a ton. This water's like super clean. It's got grass in it. Like this place is really good. I Hopefully I don't regret this five years from now. I need to speak to the new owners and be like, hey, please let me come fish it like next spring, two years from now. All these F1s will legitimately be like seven pounds. So big. Hope we can catch some today. So if you guys have been having a problem where you're kind of like this, and you're having a hard time just staying, it's just kind of all floppy, and you're trying to look to get like this in under 15 minutes or less, don't worry, I've got the thing for you. You guys see these things? You guys pop them underneath your tongue, you let it sit there, it works five times faster than anything on the market. So you can be spontaneous, pop that sucker, let it dissolve underneath your tongue, just sit there for a minute, you know? Hang out for about 15. Think about how you're gonna go from this, this floppy little thing. Some of us have that problem. Just telling you right now, if it is, and you have that problem, you wanna snag some of these. We link to the top of the description. Use code ROB at checkout for 15% off. It'll make you literally go from this to that in a solid 15 minutes or less. Yeah, fun time in that with this. So Rougie will actually get you board certified doctors assigned specifically to you who can help you with your personalized formula or anything men's health related. So if you guys want to go check out Rougie, you guys need to click the link at the very top of the description. Use code ROB to save 15% off. I'm telling you guys, I don't care if you're using it for man on man or man on woman or X on X. I don't care. If you need help, this is it for you. Click the link at the very top of the description. Use code ROB at checkout. Save 15% off. This beautiful little, look at this. Beautiful, comes with a little magnet package. Look at that. Oh, you just pop it out. 
take one of those things out, pop it under your tongue, and in 15 minutes, you could be getting it. Yeah, thank you for Rougiette for sponsoring this video. All right, go check them out, top of the description. I'm out. So I'm gonna call my place right now like the proving grounds or testing grounds. This is actually the new size revolver. This is a smaller one. I personally thought we should have probably launched with this size because I would use this size way more than the regular and the bigger one. Just personally, I kind of like it. I'm also gonna show you guys, we got a, a bladed jig trailer that is, I think it's finally done. If I have any in the boat today, we'll throw that around a little bit so you guys can see that. A lot of people are worried about the durability of it or I don't know. There's always haters when it comes to Googling stuff, always, but uh, we've made sure, like it's been one of my number one things to make sure that the durability, oh my God, I just had one missed it, didn't I? Oh, there's another one. Durability of the baits has gone up. I've got gills in here, by the way, that are like the size of Hershey. Listen, that thing just rumble. I'm also going to show you guys later on in the video all that, that huge rock point I built out there. This thing gets to like, I think it's like 20, 21, 22 feet or something like that. It's really deep. I'll show you guys to see if there's any fish on it yet. There wasn't two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Doge. That's not a bad fish either. I love it, dude. Oh, wasn't hooked good. Came off. First, we'll never see what it was. It's probably like three pounds. It looked like a three pounder. First fish is a good one. Tried to boat flip it, had the back hook, didn't pan out. I can see some, see, yep, yeah, look at that. I can see him out here swimming around in the middle more than not towards the bank because it's so clean. Look at that. I think my uh, bait fish have grown up a little bit here. This place is gonna be, oh, this place is gonna be insane in like two years. All right, that was another little one. Oh, we got it again. There must be a few of them. There must be a few in there. That's a little bad, a little bad. Right. Little one. Oh, little one. <laughs> about, about doing to you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't see it. I could see him on, on my pen uh, around in front of me. And I just flipped right to him. I saw him swimming up to the surface. Well, the bite's actually, I mean, I'm sure it's not going to get too terrible because it's not going to get super hot really fast here today. I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. I got this and we've been working on something pretty special. It's a different kind of bladed jig. I don't, I don't have any in the boat. I can't show you guys, but we've been working on a bladed jig trailer. Now here it is. So this is just a regular bladed jig. I've always used that Yamamoto one, the, the Zacco. It's good. There's nothing super wrong with it. There's a couple flaws, but all, all around it is actually a pretty good bait. I'm going to put this in here so Hershey does not stick herself. Now, when you guys look at the Zacco, I'm just going to throw it out there. So this is ours. Can't give you the name of it. It'll be released in uh, about a month or so. I mean, it's built a certain way. It's built, you can see it's kind of triangular. So these are the older ones. So you can see how long this one is. I've actually cut this one down and this is actually the new version. So this is the older one, as you can see. The older one was longer, uh, a lot longer, not as fat. I didn't think it held up as well. So we beefed this one up, shortened it up. And as you can tell, it's shaped like a diamond. Hook goes on the top. Now the Zacco, good bait, nothing wrong with it. Like I said, just a tad fat. So down here in the body is a tad fat. The tail is fine. If they were to trim this, this body up, it'd be a lot better bait because with the fat body on a bladed jig, anybody will tell you the fatter the body, it'll hinder the movement of the bladed jig itself. I'm not making that up. You can literally ask anybody. So we have made it as narrow as we possibly can. All you want is meat here to keep it on the hook. And all you really want is the action of the tail. So I'm gonna tie this thing on, I'll show you guys. I'm not trying to bash the Zacco. It's not, if you use it, that's great. But we strive to make the best we possibly can. And I think we have, and no one else has ever cut their plastic like this. You guys see how the plastic's cut? No one's ever done that, ever. So I know we piss a lot of people off when it comes to Guggen products, like a lot of people. Like we literally have meme accounts of people that try to talk shit. And that means we're doing something right. People aren't talking shit. You aren't doing stuff right, best way I think. That's not a bluegill. Not a bad one. A little better, a little better Hirsch. This ain't, we'll catch bigger ones than that today. A little thin, we are going in here to summer, but good quality, I mean, it's clean looking fish. It is a little thin. Oh, sorry Hirsch. Look at that, couple casts in. I bet you this thing gets absolutely just hammered today. Oh my God, look at this grass. 
dude, look at that. Yeah, dude, it's these damn bluegills. They're gonna take my damn tail off again. All the ones chasing it now are though. Oh my god, get out of there! Lost my tail again. Bastards. We got some new crankbait colors coming out as well. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I know I'm like rotating baits pretty quick. I like this one because it's normal. Just nothing crazy about it. Just couldn't get that little square bill down there far enough. Oh, yeah. I thought there was some bass down in with them. Just couldn't get that little square bill down there far enough. Another one about the same size. We're gonna catch some fat ones today. I know we're going to. This is, I mean, these are still healthy for being summertime. This thing ate it right at the boat. Still thin. It actually has been caught before. Look at that. It has been caught. We have only fished out here like 10 times, so. I'm gonna flip these bushes for a little bit though, moving bait, and then I'm gonna go out and see if we got any fish on them rocks. I'm really curious, because I built that, that thing took me like two days to build. Look at all those uh, gills and bait fish out here. I thought I was actually on a limb. I was actually trying to pop it off. End up be swimming, swimming back out. Me. Get him, Hirsch. Not a bad one. Oh, now she wants to lick it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna flip these bushes a little longer and go out deep. Oh my God, did I really just do that? Tell me that's a fish. It is, and it's a good one. Dude, I could see him out here swimming. Oh my God, I actually did that. Look at that. And it looked big on the freaking graph, and it was. Look at this thing. This is a good fish, dude. Look at this. Oh no! It was just on the back hook and it came off. You see that thing? Yeah, that thing was over four pounds, easy. Gosh dang it. I was thinking to myself like, man, these things are out here just suspended in like 10 foot of water. Throw the crankbait by them. Damn. That might have been the biggest fish I've seen come out of here so far. Thing was like that wide. Son of a bitch. Well, just learned something about these GoPros. Uh, there's a really tiny screw on the bottom of them. Apparently it's supposed to have Loctite on it. I was wondering why it seemed loose. I thought it was this thing. What the f At least it didn't go in the water, that's a good point. Oh my God! Out here on the hump! Out here on the hump! That makes me so happy! We did it! We did it! All right. I brought out all different kinds of crankbaits to try to get down there. This is that hump I built out of giant rock. Oh man, this is gonna look good through here. Well, for a fish. So I think we should take some of these rock. I think we're gonna pick them up. And since we got like this elongated point right here, I think we're gonna kind of like place them like through here. And then we'll probably, and I don't know, I'm probably not gonna be able to move that boulder. That is a big son of a gun. That one's probably just gonna just sit there. <laughs> that is a huge rock. And then I think we might we might take some of the, the bigger stuff out of there. Kind of maybe lay it through here, all the trees, like some of the bigger logs and such. Yeah, make this one really, really, really awesome island. Maybe put some stuff on top of it as well once I'm all done. So during the summertime, this is pretty much, I can guarantee you, if this is, say, 15 foot underwater right here and this is 20 foot right there, I can just imagine bass and fish just stack all through here. Look at that, that's what's coming out of there, yes! Oh, I feel so good about that. I was actually hung up on a tree. There's like one lonely tree out there and I had come out a limb, I was flicking it off. Right when I flicked it off, boing! All right, so that's where the Nelk car's at, right there. Three, two, one! It's a long point. The water has came up. We're gonna fish that now. Dude, that makes me feel happy. Caught something off something I actually literally built. I'm I'm starting to regret selling this thing. There's giant clumps of hydrilla in here that was not here a month ago that I could see. All right, Mondo Worm. Hup.
Guess what was mixed in with them? Dude, there's my other, oh my God, look at that. There's my other worm. Holy sh I've never seen that before. He just spit up, did you see that? That was my other worm. Never in my life has that ever happened, ever. I thought that was bluegill tapped me. I let it go and go and go. And all of a sudden it went boom and then it swam. I have never in my life had a fish that I just catch spit up a worm that I just lost to that fish. And that just happened. Damn, that's pretty cool. It's getting too windy out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive around. And sh I'm sitting here thinking about it. All the stuff we built, like you guys see these PVC pipes behind us. I remember putting and doing all the work for those. Oh my god, it was so hot and it's so windy. God. Okay, well I'm gonna tell you. I need I need another. Was it 20 more bags of concrete? So what is that? thousand pounds more I need I need 20 more bags of concrete and I need 90 more 10 foot poles oh man that freaking thing sh all over my all over them and I'm gonna tell you those PVC pipes they're not worth it so if you guys ever do do this or build your own pond or something like that don't use a PVC I got some over there me and Lojo built I'm gonna tell you there, there's no there's not fish really on them so anywhere I wouldn't recommend doing it I'd probably go with Build your own brush piles if you have to do that. They seem to be on all the brush, the actual real stuff, not the PVC stuff. The PVC stuff's trash. I wouldn't put that in your pond or your lake or whatever you're trying to build. I learned a lot from this place. I'm excited to do it again. It kind of sucks to get rid of it, but I never get attached to anything that I'm able to make money off of. Word of the wise to you guys, I guess. Don't ever get like emotionally attached to anything that's business related or that you're able to make, just makes it easier. I, I, I'm gonna give you guys some advice. If you ever want to do this, you can make some money selling land, buying land, building lakes. I think I bought this thing at the end of 2019 and December 2019. I'm selling it now. But don't ever buy a place where you gotta pump water into it. That's like the only source of way to feed the, the pond or lake you're gonna build. Don't ever do that. That's that's not the smart way to do it. Like if you gotta build a well to then pump water in. I guess you could do that if you're in the right water table and you have a, it's running off solar and it kicks on during the day. I guess that's fine, but I, I, I feel like that's kind of sketchy. You, you, you really want a place that has a creek running through it that you can dam up. Now, not all places you can do that. If it's got a solid blue line, like on a topographical map, they're not the state's not gonna allow you to do that. So always keep that in mind as well. You can't mess around with rivers or like real big creeks. Uh, this is mainly just creek runoff. So it's always flowing in. But this thing could would stay filled 100% of the time if I would have spent 10 to $20,000, I don't really know, to drill, build a well, and then it literally would just pump on off solar. So it'd be pumping water into the lake right now. And then that water would just spill over the dam. Now I may try that next time, but I don't know. I'm telling you, my word of advice for you, don't use PVC unless you have nothing. If you just have a clay bottom and you have nothing, but this place has got tons of timber, tons of grass. This place is gonna have massive fish. But that one, I don't know, four and a half, five pounds, that's pretty big. When you're thinking about how long this thing's been, uh, two years from now, that's gonna be seven. We're gonna have tons of six and seven pounders and eight pounders inside this place. This is gonna be a really, really good lake. I'm actually, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. It's almost like a reminiscent type video where we get to go back and just think about stuff. This is the spillway. The dam, it doesn't look very big right now. Like the water is almost to full pull. It almost is like for it to be full pull, it should be like slightly coming up and over here, or just coming through here. But I mean, it's almost there. It's like 90% full for sure, This is, which is good. But this dam doesn't look very tall. Got a video I wanna share with you guys. So you have an understanding if you're new on how big this dam really is. There hasn't been any rain. Why would there be water coming out the back like this? Well, I'm gonna say they come in and you know, they put some hard clay on your dam and you had rain, what, 10 days ago? Maybe, but look at it bubbling up. Yeah. So if you have hard clay and you've got this soil on top that's a little looser and it rains, that pretty much makes a filter. When it hits that clay, it could set and run, but it also could be leaking from the other side. I agree, something, something is something going on. Run. Well, looks like I need to get my phone. And this is also a Gene Autry's old place, so you see, I mean, I was going to do something with it, tried, had somebody come out. 
it just wasn't feasible. The money wasn't there for me to, to do it. I was gonna turn this into venues, like wedding venues, and then put two different venues and then try to use the outside of the building, but structurally, it wouldn't work out. Basically, just the outside would have been a facade. It would, it would have been all fake. I just wanted to reuse them. But that wouldn't have worked. So these buildings will pretty much just sit here until the end of time. This is one of the reasons why I bought this place. It's because of these buildings. The other piece of land that was actually up on that side, I wish I could have afforded both of them at the time. That guy ended up building a lake and a house. But anyway, that's pretty much that. This is, this is literally my life at, the, at this point. If you guys saw me fish, this is it. This is all I do. I look at maps. I make my little, this is all I do. If you guys don't even realize, if you guys don't follow that other channel, this is like my entire life. You don't want to show the code being up. Look at this. I make maps. This is my life. I sit here for probably six hours a day, study maps, go through stuff. Today this is actually probably gonna be the best episode I've ever posted in the last four months. So it's a, it's a doozy. It's gonna be real long. There's a lot going on. Two Americans were just captured by the Russians. It's gonna get interesting. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I love you guys. Go check out the sponsor. We link the very top description. Other than that, I'm out. I'll see you guys later.